Hi guys, I've been promising you new these videos for a few days and I've been out of town. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Uh, what I'm going to show you right now is how to install PHP Zon. And this is a great little tool and uh, I'm going to show you how to install it and then in a the subsequent video I'm going to show you a new little tool that we just had programmed that's going to allow you to go onto any existing site that you have and um, append every post with one click to put your Amazon products on each page that you already have. And I'll go deeper into that in the next video, but for this one, I'm just going to show you how to install it. And as you can see, we are here in the Manage Plugins, and we have all of our other stuff already installed and getting ready to go but we need to go to cPanel to install PHP Zon. So here we are in cPanel and we're going to find the URL that we want to install it on. We're just going to double click that and that's going to bring up all of the files for that site. And then the easy way is just like this. Click the upload button, click the browse button, and you want to highlight PHP Zon and that thing is going to automatically start to download. Now I'm, I am in rural Alabama today and our internet connection is a little slow. We're getting that worked on tomorrow but for now you just have to bear with me. Okay, 100% complete. So we're just going to close that off and we're going to reload this. That's a refresh and here's the plugin installed. Now we just want to extract it just like that. Okay, and now we're going to go back to our plugin page. And we see it's not here, but when we refresh, it's going to be right there. And all you got to do is activate it. Okay, now it's activated. We're going to go into settings and we're going to click PHP on and then for this account we're going to install this ID number and the keys now this is this is one of my sites that I own with a student And we're just going to get this thing going. We're going to update those options. And then we're going to decide here what we, how, what we want to display. We're going to display product features. We want a compact product description. We want to display a list price and we want to filter products that are currently unavailable we want to filter products that do not have images we're going to update that then we're going to scroll to the bottom here we want to use mod rewrite on Amazon images now there's a whole different lesson on why we do that and that's not for this video but just know that you want to use it and then we're going to click medium and then we want to click use SEO URLs. Now that's going to cause us a couple of extra steps, but it's going to help us with the search engines. Again, that's another whole issue in itself, which we'll have tutorials on that are a little more in depth, but for now, just know you need to use it. Update options. And the plugin has now created a new HT access code for you. So you want to highlight that, copy it. And now we're going to go back to cPanel and find our HT access file. We want to edit that file. And we're going to add that code here just above the WordPress code. So we want to move that down one line, go back up, control V to paste it in, save changes, go back to file manager, reload you're not going to see any difference here but I like to reload it just in case and then we're going to go back to the site okay we've got everything in now 
what we need to do is use our PHP Zon code which is installed into we're going to install it into every post on this 200 page site that we've created and these are custom to PHP Zon this is going to tell WordPress that we want you to use PHP Zon to go to Amazon depending on what the keyword is for that particular page which is going to be the title of that page we want you to go select products from Amazon and bring them back and post them for us and the number we'd like you to post is 10 so let's highlight this copy it and we're going to go to this new little tool that I told you about earlier okay so here you can see in this tool we have a total post count of 200 and these are all of them right here now with this new tool we can go through and select just the ones we want very very cool feature or we can select them all eBay or Amazon let's do Amazon okay and then we want to paste in our code I'm gonna add that code and we can either prepend to post which will put this code at the top we can append to post which will put this code at the bottom and what we want to do is append we want to put it at the bottom we want our content to be up top so we append we see that it's working and give it just a second and I'm gonna pause while this thing is working I'll be right back with you and one more thing I wanted to show you guys before this tool finishes is that you can see at the bottom of these pages we don't have any Amazon here so the tool's still working I'm gonna pause you again but I wanted you to see that I'll be right back now you can see we are uh, the tool's still working it's uh, it's taking a little bit longer than usual I think because of the internet connection that I have today but you can see uh, this is the the page that I just showed you and now we have Amazon links products descriptions here on the same page so I'm going to pause you again, give this thing just another minute to run because this internet connection is so slow, and I'll be right back. Okay, didn't take as long as I thought. Uh, it was really just a few seconds. And here you see, done. 200 posts affected. That means it took care of all 200 of them. And here's the one I just showed you. Let's go look at some more. And there you go. They're the products from Amazon. This is uh, this is my one of my favorite tools. I with this thing, it, I'm going to go into it in just a minute. But this is a great tool. Anyway, that is how you use uh, the the post pin, which is I think we're going to call it the the WordPress magic uh, WordPress magic post wizard and you combine that with PHP Zon to take an existing site that already has already been published no matter how many pages it is 1 to 1000 to probably 10,000 and uh, you use those two little tools to monetize that site so this will give you the opportunity to buy sites and install these two plugins and monetize those so anyway that's it thanks for watching and I'll be back with the next one